What is going on, everybody? It's your main man, DrewTube, and you know I'm back at you again with another video. Let's get right into it, all right? Everybody, everybody, smash that like button, share button, and subscribe button. Everybody, let's get into it, all right? Take your time with your gift. You might not be garbage. You might just have to go a little slow. When you're working on your gift, sometimes we want to get it done as fast as possible. We want to we want to get that gift done. All right, we want to we want to use our gift to get that project done. Want to show everybody how good we are. Want want we want want some recognition for our efforts. You know, we we want to be so good and so great at what we do. We want to be known by the whole everybody we know, the whole world for what we want to do. We want to we want to be known, okay? When when you want to when you want massive success, and you want to be known or recognized for what it is you do, take your time, all right? There's no rush. A lot of times, sometimes people want to be so great that they rush through their work. They rush through their project. When you rush through something, it's not going to turn out how it would if you would take your time. Sometimes when you rush through things, you may end up becoming under the impression that you're not good enough you may think that you don't have what it takes because you may be trying to achieve a particular style or you might be trying to acquire a particular look you might be trying to achieve establish a particular sound all right and you may be you may be really bent on trying to get this accomplished you may be trying to hurry up and get it out because you may feel that you're missing out. I'm here to tell you that God's got a time slot for each and every one of us, okay? Just like there was a time for you to be born and there's a time for your energy to be transferred, there's also a time for you to be successful if you choose. There'll be a time for that. And I want you to choose to be successful. I want you to choose to have a time for you to be successful. I want you to tell the universe that you're ready for your time slot for you to be successful right now. Tell the universe, universe, I'm ready for my time slot for my success. I'm ready, okay? Because you don't want to rush through your project. You don't want to rush through what you're working on. This is something that you love to do. Since you love to do it, you want to be able to go through the process of becoming better. You want to take your time. Because when you take your time, you'll be able to shine. When you take your time, you're going to be improving your grind. And you're going to be paying attention to detail. You're going to be picking up on certain things that you may have missed or looked over. So take your time. It's no rush when you are working on your, your goals or your dreams. As long as you're putting in an effort and working on it every day, as long as you're doing, as long as you do a little bit each day. You can qualify that as doing your best. Once you realize where you want to take it, you may end up having to do more than that. You may be required to do more, but that's okay too. That's why I always tell people to do what they love to do. When you do what you love to do, you won't mind taking taking time out of your day, taking time out of your life to work towards becoming better since it's something that you really love to do. That's why you got to be really passionate about it. So you'll eat it, you'll dream it, you'll sleep it. As soon as you wake up, you want to work on it. Before work, you want to work on it. Before you eat, you got to work on it. After you eat, you want to work on it. Before you go to sleep, you want to work on it. So you see somebody else doing something, you immediately go work on your stuff. All right? So take your time. If you feel that passionate about it, don't ever give up on it. You'll, you'll be one sad, sad, sad puppy if you give up on your dreams, man. Ladies, all right, you'll, you'll be really sad if you give up on that dream just because you may not be a star right now, just because you may not be recognized for your gifts and your talents right now. If you feel that you're supposed to be successful, if you feel that success is yours, then don't give up, all right? Because the fact that you feel that that success is already yours. It's already there. All you have to do is meet it. All you have to do is be there for that time slot for your success. 
all you have to do is you have to keep preparing so when the time comes as they say you'll be ready and when your time comes you're going to want to be ready for your success you're not going to want to sound like you haven't been putting in enough time you don't want to appear like you haven't been putting in enough time all right you want to be able to take your time go over your goal go over your dream do what it is that you want to do precisely intricately fine tune it and make it the best that it can possibly be and you can only do that by going at your own pace when you see somebody that does something in five seconds i guarantee you that person's probably been working on that for five plus years when you see somebody that can do something in a, a little bit of time like five seconds i guarantee you that person has been working on that for five years i guarantee it because it's repetition for them and it becomes it becomes repetition it becomes routine it becomes easy it's like putting on their pants putting on their shoes they pick up their paintbrush whoop 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 masterpiece you think it was like that whoop, 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 masterpiece as soon as they picked up their paintbrush hell no nah. all right there's probably painting stick figures and and uh curly trees and every god knows what they probably got some of their first paintings hidden from the naked eye I don't want don't want nobody to see it all right basquiat wasn't as fresh as he was when he first started alicia keys wasn't as good as she first started when she first started playing piano probably missing notes and everything but the thing is, the people who are able to do what they love to do quickly in like five seconds, expert status, elite status, all right, professional status, they put a lot of time in on, the, on, on their craft. They didn't just pick up that, that basketball and start dribbling like they've been playing basketball their whole entire career. They had to uh, get their handle up. These, these, these a lot of professional basketball players – have spent a lot of alone time working on their um, their their handle since they like the age of five, man, age of seven. Since they they could shoot a basketball, their dad or whoever had them out in their yard dribbling, just practicing. If you watch that Michael Jordan movie, if you watch that Jordan Michael Jordan movie, you watch Space Jam. Watch the first Space Jam with Michael Jordan. This taught me this as a kid that I could be successful. All right, he was shooting the basketball and he failed. He missed the first couple shots. He tried, he missed. He tried, he missed. He tried, he missed. He tried, he missed. Eventually, he made the shot. And he was sinking them. And that taught me. And of course, you know, I went out there and tried. With, I tried to, I, I, and I did it too. I went out there and I was sinking them shots. But it transferred into other areas of my life. I said, you know what? I may not be an NBA player, or that may not be where I want to be. Because my thing was, uh, I had other interests. We'll get into that. That'll be uh, another video. I have other interests other than uh, basketball. But um, yeah, when you transfer, and you know, and and the thing is, it's even other motivational speakers out there. I know you guys have might have saw that video. This guy is a, um, it's a uh, this white guy. He drops his motivational videos, and he's like. He says something about Michael Jordan level genius. And I said, I said, yo, I'm like, yo, e, I'm like, he on it. I'm like, yo, bro. I said, see, I knew there were other people that thought like me. I knew there was other people that was on the same type of time that I'm on. And he said, Michael, there's, he said, he said, you have Michael level Jordan. He said, you have Michael Jordan level genius at something. I don't know if y'all heard him say that. He has a lot of people come on his show like Les Brown, um, uh, 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 Dale, what's that dude's name? Um, he just he just passed away. Uh, I think his name is like Bill something. I forget, but he has a lot of motivational people on the show. I know y'all know who I'm talking about. But he said um, he was talking about uh, Michael Jordan level genius, and I was like, that's it. I said I knew I was on to something. So you got to have Michael level Michael. I'm gonna get it right, y'all. You got to have Michael Jordan level genius. <laughs> See, you don't you don't stop until you get it. Don't stop till you get enough. Okay, MJ and to the other MJ. You can go you can go back and forth. When you're talking about greatness and motivation, you could use Michael Jordan and Michael Jackson for about a four or five hour long video because those are really great dudes. All right. So you're going to want to take your time. All right. You may be moving at a snail's pace. You may be moving like a sloth, but you're not as long as you're not slothful. 
Who cares? All right, the Bible says don't be slothful. It doesn't say anything about taking your time and moving like one. You could just because you're not supposed to be slothful doesn't mean you can't learn from the sloth. The sloth takes its time. All right, the sloth takes its time. Being slothful means just not being around, not being lazy. All right, the sloth just be chilling. Don't just be lazy, not doing anything. You got to be doing something. All right, don't not be doing nothing. Okay? So move. If you got to move slow, move slow. It's better to move slow than to move no. It's better than to move slow than to not be moving at all. You don't want to be moving no. All right? Just pushing a big, imagine somebody just walking around town pushing a big no around. What the hell would that do? Not a damn thing. Nothing. Wouldn't make no sense. Just what the hell is he doing? He's been pushing that no around for I don't know how long. All right? Stop pushing a no around. Stop not doing anything. Do something with your life. Do something with yourself. Do, do something. You're great at something. All right? You're able to become great at whatever it is you want to become great at. Nothing can stop you but your own mind. Nothing can stop you but a negative thought. A negative thought is the only thing that, can, that has power to stop you in this whole entire universe. I repeat, a negative thought is the only thing that has power to stop you in this whole entire universe. When the people wanted to go to outer space, they said all they needed was the will to do it. All right. When when people when people wanted to go to outer space, you, you think, hey, we're going to outer space. You can't do that. Watch me. I got the will to do it. Transfer that into your dreams. You can't become a millionaire. You can't become rich. You can't become successful. You can't live the life of your dreams. Sounds like going to outer space to me. I think I have the will to do it. Matter of fact, I know I have the will to do it. I feel I have the will to do it. I know it. I think it. I feel it. I'm speaking it into existence. You have to have that drive for your goal, for your dream. And even when you're moving slow with it, even when you're taking your time, even when nobody sees you, nobody hears you, nobody recognizes you, nobody's looking for you, keep that drive alive. Stay motivated. Keep going. Because one day people are going to be paying attention to you. All right? You may not be the, the center of attention right now. Not that you need to be. All right? Not to say anybody's trying to be the center, center of attention. We talk about a lot of narcissism on this channel. This is one of those videos. This is a motivational video for people who want to succeed. And when somebody else has got the spotlight, what do they have? The center of attention. That person has worked their way up to their level of success and they're being recognized for it. And anybody that's being recognized for reaching their level of success, applaud them, bless them, and wish them as much success as they can bear, as much success as they can handle, as much, as much success as God sees fit for them. Because all that good energy that you're putting out and projecting to them, guess what's going to happen, vessels? I think somebody already said it. It's going to come right back to you. All that good, positive energy is going to come right back to you. All that good, positive energy is going to be yours for, for you to use, for you to utilize. All right? So take your time with your gift. You might not be garbage. You might not be bad. You might just have to go a little slow. You might just have to take your time. When I was, all, when I was learning how to draw, anytime I tried to draw fast, it always came out trash. I repeat, when I was learning how to draw and I tried to draw, anytime I did draw and I would draw fast, it came out trash. Sometimes some people have different work ethics. Sometimes people have different work style. Somebody may be able to do something in light speed and make it look like they took a lot of time on it. Sometimes people need to do something that looks like they took a lot of time on it and actually take a lot of time on it. And there's nothing wrong with either one. Don't sell yourself short just because you're not the hair. The hair, if somebody could do something at light speed, that's them. Somebody has learned how to do something real fast or if somebody's able to do something quicker than you or produce more than you, cool. God bless them. Wish them as much as they can, they can have. Wish them as much as they can do. Wish to hope, hope that they can put out as much projects that they can put out and, and be successful with them. But just know also that just because you're taking your time, and you may not be moving as fast as everybody else. You might not be moving at the same pace as everybody else. Doesn't mean that um, you're you're not good enough. So see the best in yourself. See the best in your goals. See the best in your dream. See the best in your ability. Because 
you have what it takes to make it. There's something great in you. There's something great about you. All you got to do is develop it and make it better. I want to thank everybody for taking the time to watch this video. As you continue to take time with your gift, I want you to continue to stay motivated, continue to believe in yourself always, and continue to up, uproot those negative thoughts and continue to uplift yourself. One negative thought will cancel out 10,000 bad ones. One negative thought will cancel out 10,000 bad ones. A negative thought will cancel out every, uh, a positive thought will cancel out all the negative thoughts when it comes to you following your goals and your dream. So if you want to follow your goal and your dream, you have to think positively about your goal and your dream. Don't allow anything or anyone to make you change your mind about how you view your future. If you see your future self living the best life that you could possibly live, if you see your future self having as much money as you'd want to have, living the life that you would want, if you see these things and you know that this is the lifestyle you want, then it's you have to know that all your desires are wrapped in one. That's how you have to see it. All your desires are wrapped in one. Your goals, your gifts, your talents will lead you to your dream life, to life you want. That's why God gave you to them to be able to prosper. God gave you your gifts and your talents so you could put something positive out into the universe and get something positive back. Currency. You could put out an energy. You put out your currency. You get currency back. There's different forms of currency. Your currency is just a different form. You put out one form of currency, you get another form back. This video is coming to a close. I want to thank everybody for watching this video. I appreciate your time. Just wanted to add my little two cents real fast. Thank you for watching this video. Smash that like button, smash that share button, and smash that subscribe button. This has been another Drew Tube special. Shout out to the vessels. I'll see everybody in the next video. Peace.